Good evening, this is the Mystic Kitten. My name is Michelle, and we're going to carry on with the new moon readings. Please like, subscribe, and share the channel so we can reach a broader audience. I'm so grateful to all of my subscribers that I've gathered along the way, and I can't wait to see how this little channel evolves. So, we're going to move on with Cancer. Cancer, this remember this is a general read. It cannot, will not resonate with everyone. Flip it, flop it, toss it, turn it, take it any way you want it. But if it does not resonate, leave it and I'll catch you in another video. We're going to, uh, with this new moon reading, we're going to start off with the oracle cards. And then we'll finish up with the tarot. Can I get a card for Cancer for the new moon cycle that they're coming into? Cancer's new moon cycle. No, that's most of the deck. <laughs> it doesn't want to throw you a card. Can I get one card for Cancer? For the new moon cycle? All right. And Moonology. Can I get a card for Cancer? For the new moon cycle? Thank you. Ooh, it gave you three. And can I get a star seed card for Cancer for the new moon cycle, please? One star seed card, please. Okay, one. You got three of these too because one flipped. I seen it flip. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. It's right there. All right. So from the Raven's Wood Wand, you got commemoration. It's time to really get excited about the things. You <clears throat> get excited about like your achievements and acknowledge them for what they are. It's not boastful. Well, you got four of these. It's not boastful to be proud of yourself at all, at all. It's only boastful if you make other people feel badly about it. You got work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. You got surrender to the divine full moon. You got luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. And step out of your comfort zone, north node. I love that card. Probably because I hate stepping out of my comfort zone. Uh, from the starseed deck, you got meditation. Take a moment to connect to source through quiet reflective meditation. And then you got creation. Being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limit, limitless cre creative soul. And you got blue flame. Connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. All right, guys, let's pull the tarot. Can I get six cards? No, that's not six. Can I get six cards for Cancer's new cycle? Six cards for Cancer, please. There's some stubborn energy up here in here for you guys tonight, man. Two more cards, please. One more card, please. Right. In your past energy, you have the Wheel of Fortune and the Emperor. So I feel like you just had kind of a really, where is it? This one, the luck is on your side and commemoration. I feel like things were really going your way there for a while. Uh, you and it felt good. You felt like you were in, you were in your zone, 
And then in the current energy, you have the magician and wealth. And it seems to be carrying on. Like, you seem to be doing really well right now. With the magician there, you're, you're capable of pretty much anything. And I think you know that. But I get this sense of, like, you're afraid to celebrate it. You're afraid to acknowledge it because you got people around you who are kind of poo-pooing you. What's coming in the immediate future is the six... No. The Four of Cups. Balance, pleasure. The Two of Cups, love. The Queen of Wands and the perfect and perfect work. The Four of Wands. <clears throat> so I feel like you're going to be working so hard, you're going to miss this. You're not going to see this new, this new love. And I almost get the sense that this person that's coming in is uh, probably a fire sign and is very much like going to make their presence known. I feel like they're kind of, they're, they could be like... Wow, I'm saying like an awful lot. That's weird. It's that stubborn energy again. You're like, no, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for a new beginning with anybody. And this person's going to be like, hello, I'm right here. All right, advice. My altar is so dirty. Advice for cancer, please. Can I get advice for cancer, please? So stubborn, cancer. All right. Your advice is the nine of swords and the knight of pentacles. You need to start looking at new the things that are coming in and the opportunities that are coming in. Because if you miss this opportunity in the immediate future, it is going to cause you sleepless nights. You're going to have regret. You're going to look back on it and wish that you hadn't have pushed it away. That is their advice. All right. I hope that this meets you with love and light, Cancer. And until we meet again, blessed be. Good night.